Hey guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building a Norfolk Southern 1072, and this is a SD70 ACE, and it's a heritage unit for Illinois Terminal, which was one of the railroads that merged together to form Norfolk Southern, and this was commissioned by Super FNAF Gamer 26, you can see right here, and thank you for commissioning the build, and if you want to do commissions, you can just check out my self I page. And yeah, this is what it looks like all around, and let's get started. So first off, let's use uh, the lime concrete, which is one of the newer blocks. And let's make a 2 by 3 and just add one to the sides, like so. Actually, the middle three, we're going to use uh, yellow concrete, like that. And then we're going to add a little wall, two block tall wall, like that. And behind that, we're going to add another wall just two by five and then we want to make this lime concrete block 33 blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two two twenty three two fourteen five six and seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three and on this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three and on this end we're going to use the same uh, yellow concrete like that and then we want to have sort of like a t-shape so and then add lime concrete around it and the bottom corners let's add oak wood stairs like so and let's add the secondary wall right behind it just like we did in the front it's for like the ladder or rather it's a stairs so the stairwell and we're going to use a uh, stone just stone slab like that add that right there and same thing in the front For the front corners, we're going to use a uh, stonework slab instead. Alright, so after we're done with that, let's add trip wire hooks alongside the coupling in the middle. Same thing in the back. And then let's take polish andesite, just add that alongside the middle. So just add that right there. It's actually one of the last changes that I did before making it, which I'm glad I did, because it'll be weird if like the underside was green. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna go um, back to the front, and we're gonna use uh, oak fence. Add the railing in the front, like so. It's just like the standard shape from all our trains, and then we're gonna add the lamp. So we're gonna use item frame with a uh, white stained glass block inside of it. So I just put it like that item frame and it should be pretty much the same in the back just without the lamps like so and then we're going to add a uh, yellow concrete right there in the middle and then we're going to make this sort of like a tip so alongside it we use uh, lime concrete above the yellow and then we're going to have like this sort of uh, stripes that go up like that. So just continue that up. And we're going to make this like five blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, and five. The top should be yellow. The same thing on the sides. Just alternate between green and yellow. Like so. Then on this part, we want to add lime carpet just to cover this up. Then let's go back to the front and let's start on this uh, hood section so we're going to make sort of like this pyramid so we're just going to take the yellow concrete try to make this pyramid like that and in between them let's add lime concrete also on the sides a bit at the top and these uh, top corners we're going to use a uh, stone brick slab then behind it, we're going to use lime wool. I mean, not lime wool, lime concrete, like so. And let's start making the cab. So this part is where we're going to have uh, the window. So we just have a pillar in the middle, uh, black stained glass alongside it, two of them. And behind that, we want a lime wool pillar. And then we're going to take uh, black stained glass pane, just add two. To each side then lime concrete once again 
like so. And then let's add uh, the sides of the roof, which is just the uh, stone brick slabs. We don't have green slabs, so we're just going to use that instead. Then right on top, we're going to use uh, lime concrete. Just filling it in. Let's add that little box on top. So it's just a stone slab uh, two blocks away from the edge. Alright, and then let's add the light. So we're going to take a uh, birch fence gate and some signs. And open the birch fence gate on top. It puts signs for the number of plates alongside it. So it should look like, look like that. And then let's add a lime carpet on top of this yellow. So it's not exposed anymore. And let's go to the back. Let's add some more lights. So it's going to be right here. Then let's have our signs alongside it. All right, and then after that, let's go down here. Let's add uh, yellow concrete underneath the windows, and this is for the numbers on the side, which will be 1072. And let's fill in this layer in with the lime concrete for the cabin section. And just filling in entirely in. Alright, and then we're going to have, let's actually do the bottom, so we're going to use hoppers and we're going to have three axles in the front, three axles in the back, so it's going to be two hoppers per wheel, so skip two, I mean, put two hoppers, skip one, two hoppers, skip one, two hoppers, and if you've been watching my videos, it's pretty standard, and then let's add stone brick slab in the middle of that. so and we want to have polish and a site actually let, let me do the other side first then I'll move on to the polish and a site so let's add the wheels in the back like so and then a stone brick slab in between and also uh, near the center as well we're gonna have one of those all right so next thing we're gonna do is use polish andesite and just uh, fill that in the middle three throughout just filling in the entire middle underside of this locomotive and then we're gonna use uh, stone brick slab I mean stairs and just add that alongside like right here on this side should be like that except the last two they're gonna be I mean right above it we're gonna add polish and site blocks like so and for the other side it's gonna be a little bit different so there's gonna be uh, six polish and sites so let me do the stairs underneath first then we're going to add six polish on the side, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Then two upside down stone brick stairs, and then three polish and sites like so. All right, so that's good. Then let's add this little block that comes out, and that's also going to be in the front. So just place it in between uh, the wheels where it's closer to the edge. So just do that. So there's four of them. That's one of the features of the SD70 ACE. And then we're going to add bedrock, uh, two by two of bedrock on each side. And then on this side, we're going to have another vent right here. It's a one by two like that. And between is lime. And for this side, we're going to use uh, one lime wool right there. For a little wheel, I think I think some kind of wheel thing is here. Then let's add uh, more lime concrete around it, and let's move back to the side here, and let's take our oak wood slab and just line it up underneath, basically like the floor, going all the way back. Oops, I messed up there. Then the side.
It's a really colorful train. All right, so after we're done with that, let's add a like a little vent side with this ladder and just line that up right underneath this yellow for the other side there it should be nothing like that all right and then we're gonna add this little section right here that pops up it's gonna be three blocks long so one two three and then for this side we're gonna have like this huge section and we're gonna add it right here with the lime concrete and it's gonna be like five blocks long so one two three four and five then let's add bedrock, uh, five on top, uh, three on the bottom, and the rest is concrete around it. I messed up there. All right, and the top of it, we're gonna add uh, the lime uh, banner. Well, it's not a lime banner, it's a black banner actually, with a lime border. So to make the door banner, we're gonna take black banner, take a uh, lime wall, add a perimeter around it, a little border and once we're, we get that we're gonna add a two by three of lime dye at the bottom of that and then we have our banner for the door and we're just gonna place that in the back of the cab so like that on both ends and then we're gonna take our uh, oak fence and add the railings on the side so let's start over here so every other block basically and after this section, it's going to go up like that, rather down, like a giant pole. And then just keep the pattern up, just every other block, till we reach this part of the stairwell. Should be the same on the other end. And this part's going to go up a little bit, that's fine. Then on this part, we want to have oakwood stairs that goes up like so. And then let's take a lime carpet, just add that, two of them like that. And let's take a piece of string and add, add that basically in between these railings. Or maybe the railing pole, I don't know what to call this. Between the fences. Yep, just continue that all around. And even in these parts, uh, we don't have to put it here because there's al already stuff there. And then we want to add yellow carpet on top. So we're going to have a yellow railing going all the way around this locomotive. Go on this side as well. It's a little bit tricky since there's not stuff to put. So let me add some stuff. So we're actually going to take some lime concrete. And let's add a nice wall around. So we're just going to fill in uh, the top three layers like that with lime concrete. And this is just so we can place uh, the carpets a lot easier because it's pretty hard since the fence hitbox is pretty small. And for this bar it goes in just like to the middle three basically. Well the middle could be hollow so you don't need to do that. And later we're gonna have to um, make that logo for the old railway. Alright and then let's add yellow carpet going throughout like I was saying before see it's a lot more easier and faster so you're not going to be wasting time alright so once we added uh, the railings around let's add the logo so the logo it's going to be yellow concrete red terracotta and we're going to have that right around here. It's going to line up with this bedrock. So right after this fence, it's going to be like four. Four yellow. So one, two, three, four. Skip a block. And I don't know how long that is. It could be five. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, maybe it was six. I think it's six now. And once we're done with that, let's do the same thing on the other side. But 
reverse basically so start off with four then six at one and it should end up in the same place so it just doesn't really matter that much and then we're gonna add uh, red terracotta right below there just so we get there uh, it's from Chicago Illinois right Illinois terminal that's what it says right there and I just add that to the bottom just to add more detail because they kind of have like this red I think drop shot I'm not sure so after we're done with that we're gonna add another layer of lime concrete in the middle three so just build on top of that I think I just saw someone kind of fell alright so once we added that layer we're gonna have to add uh, two bedrocks and that's gonna line up this bedrock down there just two bedrocks like that and in front of it and and also in between it let's fill that in with the lime and also two blocks long behind it we're gonna fill that in as well and let's go to the back and we're gonna make this two by three or rather three by three <coughs> in the back and then we're gonna add this um, how long is this like seven blocks of what seven by five so it's seven blocks long so one two three four five six seven it's gonna stick out so make sure you stick it out all right so once we're done with that we can take our uh, stone pressure plate just add two right here in this section skip a block add two stone slabs skip a block two stone slabs again and at the bottom of it we're going to use nether brick stairs and add three skip a block three and in the middle of that just add a stone slab I mean a stone stairs so three and three then the stone brick stairs alright so we're almost done with this actually just a couple new couple more things to do so let's cover this up with the lime carpet we don't want that well, <laughs> we don't want to expose that and yeah the last step it would be like this section right here then we should be pretty much good to go so uh, for that part we want to use stone brick slab just add two by three right here and back of that a three by three and then this is the part where we're gonna have our horn so let's take out our uh, birch fence gate and let's fill in the floor of that with stone brick alongside it and let's put a horn right there in the middle and yeah that's pretty much it on how to make the NS 1072 the heritage unit SD70 for Illinois terminal which is now part of Norfolk Southern I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future and thanks again for super FNAF gamer 26 for commissioning this build and if you want to do a commission you can just check out my self high page link in the description and I will see you guys in the next video bye